Um, let's get straight into the kitchen. Hi, I'm Jackie Cameron. I'm the head chef at Hartford House and I am thrilled to be in East Coast Tables. And you see Jackie Cameron, as Erica says, the chef princess. I don't know too much about that. Um, and we're going to be preparing today Jackie's Afro Avo. What we're doing here is we're taking the top and the bottom off of the little kiwi. That that on the kiwi, then you take it on this side and you pop the spoon in. And for today, the dish is called Afro Avo. So avocado, guacamole, crispy milk toast, kiwi, red onion, baby mint, parma ham, uh, camburg parma ham, Switzerland goat's cheese. Hartford House and the food that we prepare here is everything we do comes from the heart. We do flavors and ingredients. I think I would say 95% of our ingredients are local at the moment and we just celebrate the, the local supplies and ingredients and I work with such a wonderful team that we all sit around a table and we brainstorm childhood memories. Right, let's get this dish on this plate. At Hartford this was a cheese course on my old menu at Hartford and it's really just bringing in different textures and combinations and showcasing Midlands. You know, this is what all this recipe book is about, is showcasing the Midlands. We've taken avocado guacamole, and all of us know how to prepare avocado guacamole. Just avos, locally um, sourced, a little bit of lemon juice, salt and pepper. Pop that on the plate like that. Go like that. Now we're taking the palm hand out of the oven. As you can see, you know it's ready when the, the fat is almost kind of dancing on top of the parma ham. As you can see, it's ready and it's crisp and it's ready to go. When we're making Melbourne toast, we pop it in the oven just before service to get lovely and crispy and warm. It just tastes so much better. And in Switzerland goat cheese, there's nothing else in the country that can compare to the quality. Very simply placing a bit of red onion. I use red onion a lot in my cooking. It opens your palate and allows you to get the maximum flavor. So 90% of my dish has, Norton, most of the time, does have something like a, a red onion component in it. Then it's taking this warm um, ham that is made in Camburg and um, Franco is just a, such a wonderfully passionate um, chap and he, whenever he comes into the kitchen, he spends a bit of time with us. And I've just learned so much from being in contact with him over the last few months and you can, you can taste the passion in his meats. The kiwi just adds a freshness to this dish and um, a kind of more roundness that enhances the creaminess of the, the avocado. <laughs> then we're adding the, the fresh mint to the dish. And it's tiny, tiny, tiny little um, sprigs that we're adding. Um, and as it's quite a surprise element, a surprise factor when when people when people do taste um, this course. And then last but not least, the crispy warm Malba toast. Ta da! Here is the dish. You can't get more simple than this. Jackie's Afro Avo. Also Sunday lunch is very popular. People take the day out um, and they come on the Midlands Meander and they end with a lunch at Hartford.